Hey, what's up? Uh, just a quick video on how I, uh, I'm going to be germinating my seeds using the coffee filter method. Um, I got uh, a box of 50 number four coffee filters, uh, unbleached natural. I just figured natural may be a little bit better uh, for the seeds. We shall see. Um, and I cut off about an inch and a half at the bottom. Uh, makes a nice little cup. And uh, I can fit, you know, two seeds in here with plenty of room for uh, the tail if they, when they sprout. Uh, I took sandwich bags and I marked them with the variety. I got a box of 50 of these and I think the whole thing cost like three bucks. So it's pretty, pretty inexpensive. I soaked my seeds overnight last night. Um, so now I'm going to uh, grab two out of the three seeds I soaked and put them in this and I'm going to take uh, the one seed that's left and direct sow them into a, a flat of 50. So I take my coffee filter, I find my bag, I got, this is the Assam, uh, Bootalokia Indian Carbon, so I'm going to find the cut mark to some, and I'm just going to take uh, two seeds out of here and uh, stick them in there. Got one, kind of stick to your fingers so you can kind of get a method of just pinching it um, very lightly. You don't want to mess with the seed and you don't want to damage it in the casing. It's crazy because some of these, like last night I was freaking out because, you know, like three or four out of all these seeds actually sunk. And so I, you know, looked it up online and tried to find out, hey, what's the deal with sinking and uh, floating seeds? And some people are like, oh, it's, you know, if they sink, that means they're viable. But I talked to a couple people that, uh, namely Big Cedar Brandon on uh, THP, and he's like, you know, only a few of his sunk, and he's got like probably like 85 or 90% germination rate. So after I got these two in there, I kind of hold lightly on the seeds, and then I'm just going to dip it in a measuring cup that I fill with warm water. And these coffee filters do great at wicking all the moisture out. So you don't have a soaked coffee filter. You don't want to have that like sopping wet. Now I can just take that, stick it in the bag. I'm going to leave uh, a normal amount of air in there. I'm not going to, you know, squish it all out. It's sealed. And then I grab my next filter. And I find my next variety. And I go from there. So thanks for watching.